Hi everybody, this is Juliana and I'm here to share with you guys this sign, this shabby cheek sign that I created for my friend Linda. Um, she and I recently did a swap and this is one of the little projects that I created for her. And I used a bunch of um, goodies from the Piece by Piece Etsy store and I'll put the link of her store below for you guys to check it out. But um, I love making signs, you guys, and I wanted to make Linda a sign and make her something very shabby cheek because most of the other things I made for her were like kind of like vintage inspired and I use browns and all that. So um, this one I wanted to be more like light colors, a little bit more like me. And so what I did is I used this chipboard cutout that you can find at the piece by piece. It looks like this. It's scalloped all the way around, which is really cool, and it's like very heavy chipboard. And the great thing about them is you can use them to kind of create a sign, and it gives it this really nice shape all the way around it. So all I did to mine is I just painted mine with white acrylic paint. So I just painted the back and then also the front. And then I used my favorite wallpaper. I had found this at one of my vintage shops and it's like my favorite wallpaper ever. I really love all the designs in the paper and it just feels so good, you guys. It looks so very shabby cheek. So I just cut out a little piece of paper and I ripped some of the edges of it. So some of these edges here are just kind of like lift up. And underneath it, I added some beautiful lace from the piece by piece. And these are perfect because you can layer them on your papers, on your projects. So I added a little piece of the lace here on the bottom. And then here on the left, I added this um, little flower. It's like a beige cream flower from my stash. And then I put a vintage button in the center. Also, I tuck in some of the lace from the piece by piece as well on the right side. And then I just added this um, butterfly applique here with a seam binding bow. So it's very, very light colors, more like creams and whites. Then I added this embellishment from my stash and more lace here from the piece by piece. So that's what the left side of the sign looks like. And then this is a a word that I had um, purchased at one of my craft stores a while back and it came in white it's, and it says live it comes in white and all I did is I just added some texture paste and some paint to give it a little bit more texture and make it look more shabby cheek so I really really love that so that's the center focus of the sign then I also created this little crochet bow using some beautiful trim from the piece by piece as well just very gorgeous there's more of the lace tuck in underneath the word here and then on the top there's more tucking lace with the little pieces of paper from my stash so just like little scraps that I um, distressed the edges I also added two vintage buttons from my stash as well and then it's just more layers of paper here behind this and over here on the left as well and then the piece by piece also sells some of these gorgeous um, flat back pearls so I put one on each side of the sign and I hole punched one hole here and one here and then I just added some of this satin um, ribbon that I had and then I tied them together on the top and then here I added a seam binding bow onto the top of the sign so she can hang these anywhere she wants but I tried to stick stay with all the shabby cheek colors and the light colors and all and I really love how this turned out so I really hope that Linda likes it as well and um, that's about it you guys I will have a couple photos on my blog for you guys to check it out and please be sure to check out the piece by piece you guys she has gorgeous trims and embellishments for scrapbooking or anything else and then um, if you have any questions at all just let me know so thank you so much for watching you guys and I'll see you all soon bye bye